Hello everyone, it's me Bangladesh for the win here with another tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to use your PS3 controller on your PC. Now, here is my PS3 controller plugged in. So, what you need to do first is download this. I'll put a link in the description, just extract it to your desktop. So here it is. Open that first. You need to do the Xbox 360 control drivers. Xbox, uh, you choose your operating system, so I have Windows 7 64 bit. Just install that. Okay, so you accept the agreement. Oh, by the way, what this software does, it, it makes your computer think that your PS3 controller is actually an Xbox One, so it will allow you to play any game with it. And this is better than the Motion Joy software because I've used the Motion Joy software and it just screws up my. It, it, I can't use my mouse if I'm using my Motion Joy, so this is much safer as well. Okay, so that's done now. Press finish. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm going to now go back to this. You need to install .NET Framework, which I think I have already, because this is the new laptop, so it should have it. Come on. Please load, please. Yes, I already have it. And then the DirectX here. I should have this as well. I accept the agreement. Yeah, that's okay. No, do not install the Bing bar. Next. Um, do I have it? Come on. I already have it. And VC Redist, which is the virtual, you know, Visual C++ 2010, I believe. <coughs> I think I have this as well, so. I have read and accept. No, do not send it. Do I not have it? Oh no, I didn't have it, okay. So I'll just install this, um, it has been installed, okay, thank you. Now, what you need to do is e extract that, so you do extract to SCP server. So that is here now, and this folder, what you need to do now is you go to start, computer, local disk C, and you go to program files, I think it's just this program files here. Yeah. You just go to the. If you're on 32 bit, you won't need to worry. Uh, it will just say program files. So you go here. And you type in this. Hold on, let me get a notepad. It has to be exactly like this. Edit font. Okay, so you need to make a folder called this. I believe like that. I believe it's like that. I can't actually like remember because it's been so long since I did it. Uh, I have a feeling it's wrong, but I don't really care. Okay, so you delete the source folder because that's useless. So am I deleting that? Yeah. Okay. Now you just drag the bin one into here. Shit! I can't actually remember. Crap. I will be right back when I... I just need to figure out... Okay guys, so I'm back, and I am an idiot. I have just done this. It's meant to be a capital C. I just checked on my old laptop. There we go. Now you drag the bin folder in. Jeez, okay, open this. Uh, you go to SCP driver. Put that on your fucking desktop create shortcut and you might need this as well so you do send to desktop create shortcut now I'm going to go to device and printers I can see my PS3 controller is still in I do run as administrator here and here we
Here we go. Come on. You do force install. I have my. I don't want to do the Bluetooth driver, so I just do install. It should work. You do always trust source from Bruce James. Yes, install. Okay, here we go. This takes a while, so. Oh, here we go. I'm just gonna put this here so you can actually see it doing its thing. Oh, remember, all the way through this, you have to have your control plugged in, and whenever you want to use it, it will also have to be plugged in for that as well. Just. Oh, here we go, look, if you look here, this has changed to a weird sort of thing. And now it's gone again. Should be doing it now. Oh, here we go, look, check it out. It is now, it now thinks I have an Xbox 360 controller on my PS3. And look, here it says, U PS3, USB driver, SCP, all this stuff. You can now exit out of that. And remember, every time you want to use the, um the controller, just make sure your PlayStation 3 isn't actually, like, powered on, and uh, every time you want to use it, just open this up, run as administrator, and then install, uninstall, and then install, and it should work, yeah. So, that's another quick tutorial, if you enjoyed, please press the like button, if you need any help, uh, message me on Twitter or Kick, my name will be here somewhere on the screen, and yeah, goodbye guys.